Here's a few techniques to secure down your props. Have you had troubles keeping those lightweight props secured down? No matter what you do in the harshest of elements, they seem to knock over or blow away. I originally had those problems and I've been doing front yard haunts for about 13 years. Now there's a couple techniques that I've learned over the last couple years that really have helped in keeping my lightweight props secured down and really have worked well in some of the harshest of elements. So let me take you through some of the techniques that I use and hopefully that'll help you in your future haunts. Now really there's just a couple techniques that I use and they're very, very simple and easy to implement. Now first, all of my props have a base attached to them. These bases look typically something like this where they have three points of contact to the ground. And in those bases, there's little ears that stick out that ultimately have a hole in them and those, that hole is to drive a 10 inch spike into the ground. Now with this technique that I've used, this will secure your prop down to the ground very securely. Now there's one piece to keep in mind when you are using a base like this is you wanna drive dowel rods up the center of your prop and actually attach the base to the dowel rods. Now those dowel rods will need to make sure to be glued into place, otherwise, you're not gonna really get the benefit of securing down the prop. Now the other technique that I use is landscape staples coupled with nylon string. This technique sometimes is used independently and sometimes it uses in combination with the base and the 10 inch spikes. How this technique works is ultimately with the 10 inch spikes, the base is secure. Now, in this case, I already have the top secured down, so I'm gonna release the landscape staple which will release the nylon string and ultimately the top can come free. And to secure it down, I let the top back down, I pull the string that exposes the loop and then secure the loop to the ground with the landscape staple. And for this prop, I have one on each side. Now I do have another prop that I use this technique on and it is a crypt that is a two foot by six foot by two foot tall crypt with a lid. The strings are attached to the lid, they run down the inside and out through each end of the crypt and then when pulled taut and secured down with the landscaping staples, the top stays secure to the base of the crypt itself. Now if you'd like instructions on how to do the bases and secure the bases inside the prop, visit my wiki at wiki.malamaker.org and in there you'll find under the projects page a tombstone specific page for actually doing this technique. Also while you're there, check out some of the other projects in the wiki. Now if you like this video, check out some of my other videos. Please like and subscribe. I'm Malamaker and happy making.